Good morning. I just wanted to make this little video. Uh, excuse me, I'm just coming up the stairs. Just to talk about insulin and how insulin can have a drastic effect on your fat loss. Just sit that bad boy there. Lovely. So, um, insulin. Insulin is, is a hormone uh, made by the body in response to having your blood sugar levels elevated. Um, your blood sugar levels will come up or be elevated if you're eating anything carbohydrate or sugary. So, you know, from brown bread to sweets to pasta, rice, any, or even, even a lot of fruit is fructose, is sugar. is going to cause your, your blood sugar to come up and your body's going to have to make insulin uh, just to bring the blood sugar down and control that bad boy. So the problem with this is, is that when insulin is around, it locks down your fat cells. So your body can't access its own body fat. Um, this is one of the reasons that people need to snack a lot. You're constantly snacking because you're on this roller coaster of having a diet that's too high in carbs. So your, your insulin levels go up, your body can't get into its own body fat. Uh, so of course, as soon as the food you've eaten in your tummy is gone, you're starving again. So then you eat more carbohydrates, your insulin levels stay up, you don't get near your body fat, your body fat. you can't get into your, your fat cells because insulin is up and, um, and you're hungry again. It's this sort of cycle. It's a problem for loads of reasons, um, but we'll just stick with a basic one or two here and explain them. Hopefully I'll be able to explain them well. We'll see. So um, it's a problem obviously if you can't get at your fat cells and you're trying to drop body fat or you're trying to lose weight. When you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to lose fat or body fat. You're not trying to lose muscle and you're not trying to lose water. Both of them are pointless. If you lose muscle, you're, you're not going to look well and you're going to have a crappy metabolism. So you're going to put on weight fairly easy again. So you want to keep all your muscle mass and the weight you're trying to drop is coming from fat. You're trying to get into your fat cells, get your body to burn up that fat, get rid of them bad boys. All right. And then you see your inches come down. So if the insulin levels are up all the time because your diet's too high in carbohydrates, well then you're not a, it's, it's locking down the fat cells and your body can't get at them. So even if you're training really, really hard, you're limiting your calorie intake somewhat. So you think you're doing all the right things and you're not seeing any results. More times than not, it's coming because your insulin levels, they're staying up all the time. You need to get them bad boys low, keep the insulin levels low, and your body will give up its fat cells. What that will mean is, one, you'll drop body fat because you're constantly going to be burning your own body fat. And two, you'll have a much more sustained appetite. You'll be able to go hours without eating. It won't be a problem. It's not like, you know, this, this 3 p.m. slump that people have. You've had your lunch at one o'clock and at three o'clock you're fucking starving again. Like if you're, that's a sign that your insulin levels are too high because you're, you're not able to get into your own body fat. If you're, um, even if someone is say 10% body fat, so they're super lean, they still have 40,000 calories sitting on their body of fat like. So most people have a lot, a lot of calories sitting there ready to be used, but unfortunately they can't get at them if their insulin levels are staying up. And then they're always overeating because they're just on this sugar cycle of getting hungry, eating more food, fat cells on lockdown. Another bad thing that insulin does is not only does it lock down the fat cells you have, but it creates new ones fucking new ones lads so that's totally a disaster like if you're trying to lose body fat if your insulin levels are too high and they're up all the time because your diet is too high in carbohydrates not only are you locking down the fat cells you have but your body's also creating fucking new ones and then when you eat more carbs it fills them up and then new ones you know so it's just a bad cycle of of fat gain um so we need to try and be aware of insulin levels be aware that um a high carbohydrate diet that's the effect it has on the body it makes you hungry all the time it makes you it, 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 your body can't get into its own fat cells to use them for fuel and there's loads of other um negative effects that having having insulin levels too high will have on your body but we won't get into that now so we're just going to keep it simple so generally what we want to try and do is limit the carbohydrate intake, especially if you want to drop body fat, uh, bring your carbs down, replace your high carb with more healthy fats and protein in your diet. 
Um, and once you get them in insulin levels low, the beauty of that is your body is burning body fat now. Your fat cells are unlocked when insulin levels are low. So your body's able to get at them and your body will freely give up that fat. So in between meals, rather than you getting starving again, your body's going to start drawing on its own body fat. Or when you're working out now, rather than having your all your fat cells on lockdown, so you're working out, you're killing yourself in the gym and... Because your insulin levels were too high, your body's not able to get at that body fat. So you're just burning what's in your tummy. As soon as the workout's finished, you're starving, you're going to eat more food. Uh, when you keep those insulin levels low, you're able to get in there, you're able to get at that body fat, and your workouts are fueled on your own body fat, therefore dropping inches, which is the aim of the game. Um, so I hope that little video helped. Just a little quick insight into insulin, one of the hormones that has a huge effect on fat loss and whether or not you lose body fat uh, regardless of training and if you have any questions stick them down below if you're still watching thank you very much what are we on 556 jay she's a long one so thanks for watching guys i hope that helped if you have any questions stick them in the comments below or sure ask me down the gym thank you